welcome. I am Crystal Ann Compton. Welcome to my channel. I hope that wherever you are on the planet today, that you're having a beautiful, blessed day. Truly, I wish that for you. I am coming at you today with a three card oracle card reading. It has been a long time since I've done this um, and I've missed you. I've missed doing this for you. Um, I've been in a really busy season of my life, but I've still been you know, wanting to put out that content on YouTube and stay connected. Speaking of staying connected, if you want to stay connected to me, like in the most deep way, you want to go to textcac.com and text me and that'll just connect us, set up a chain of events that'll connect you to my text community, which will allow me to just notify you of where, whatever I'm doing, wherever I'm going. It's perfectly free if you're in the States. And I think it may be in other parts of the world too, although you're going to want to check for yourself. But that's just the easiest way to know what I'm up to, what I'm doing, because I've been out here doing all kinds of stuff. Miraculous Thinking Podcast which you should be a part of. We're also starting a study group for A Course in Miracles, the workbook. It's like a year-long study group. We start that in January. Um, and by the way, miraculousthinking.com slash ACIM if you're interested in looking into joining us. And I've got a workshop coming up that is either going to be a one or two day workshop in which we go over, which we're going to be doing timeline healing and also cord cutting and going through some rituals and getting some content and also giving you a channeled meditation to help you clean your field, honey, to clean, to get rid of all the cords and to get rid of all the residual energy and drama that you don't need to be carrying around with you. That's going to be coming up probably first quarter of 2023. So, I mean, if you want to know also what I'm doing, definitely go to my website, crystallinecompton.com because I've always got something going on. But I wanted to be here right before the New Year's to say hello to you and to maybe do like a little juicy reading. And I went into session with Spirit right before popping up. We pulled three cards and these three cards represent the one of the, I would say one of the primary energies seeking to enter your life in the year 2023. Now, of course, I am dropping this on Thursday, the 29th of 2022. You might be watching this uh, in the year 2026. It really doesn't matter. This still applies, you know, spirit, God, consciousness is non-local. It exists in a timeless space. And so if you're watching now and you have an intention for connection, this is for you too. But for us that are watching right around New Year's, what you're going to want to do is pick a card that you feel most connected to and drawn to. And then I'm going to reveal that card to you. And the card that you get is representative of the energy that is coming into your life in 2023. Not the only energy, not the only thing, but like something important that spirit wants to give you a heads up for so you can look for it. You know, when we notice <laughs> and then we partner with, we amplify and we also quicken to us. And I got to say, when I was pulling the cards and I was really feeling into the deck, I just felt really good for us. I mean, sometimes you pull a card, honey, and it's not that it's, I mean, all cards are good, but like sometimes it's like, okay, but you got some karma coming. Or you got some shadow you got to work through. These cards are just like really good in their own different ways. So are you excited? You better get excited. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up each card one at a time. And you're going to check in with your spidey senses. We're all intuitive. We all have the spiritual gift of discernment and intuition. And so let your thoughts move to the side and connect with the card. You're going to know which card is for you. You're going to feel something. Maybe you'll see a number in your head. Maybe you'll hear an inner word that says, that's the one. Maybe you'll feel a magnetic pull in your gut. You'll feel it. You'll know. You'll just know that you know. When you feel that, write in the comment section, it's card one for me. Even before you know what it is, write it, claim it. Okay, when you claim it, now we're quickening it. Now we're having it come into the experience and it's amplified. So claim the card, and then after everybody's claimed their card, we are going to do the reveal, and the reveal will tell you what you picked, honey, <laughs> and also tell you what's coming into your experience, and I'll give you an explanation, and it's all good. All right, I always got to get that out of the way, because sometimes people don't understand what's happening. Are we all on the same page? Are we ready to go? All right, deep breath in through the nostrils. Exhale through the mouth, center yourself, and now let's connect with card one. Card one, 
Is this your card for 2023? Is this your card for 2023? Card number one. All right, moving from card number one, let's get into card number two. This could be your card. Check in with your body, mind, and spirit. Again, you're going to know when and if it's your card. Card number two, is this your card? Moving on now to the final card, which is card number three. Card number three. What do you feel around card number three? Card number three. Now, I will say sometimes you feel something for more than one card. And in that case, what you want to do is gauge which card you had a stronger response to, which card you had a stronger response to, and then that becomes your primary card, the main message. And then the second card is a complement to it. It ties in somehow, makes sense somehow, but it's more of a secondary message. Okay? Really quickly, card one. Card two and card three. All right, this is where you drop in, down in the comments, you pause the video, you drop down in the comments and you let us know what card you picked because remember, by claiming it, you amplify it, you draw it to you more quickly. So pause it, do that, and then come back when you're done. All right, it's time to reveal the cards. Starting with card number one. How many of you chose this one? You chose breakthrough breakthrough don't we love to see a we'd love to see a breakthrough card come on now breakthrough means exactly that there is going to be a breakthrough for you maybe there's a situation that you're kind of struggling with maybe there is an idea and you really don't know how to bring that to fruition maybe there's some shadow stuff that you have been contending with and wanting to heal maybe it is a physical healing Maybe it is a new opportunity that's going to allow you to up level. Maybe it is a shift in consciousness. You know, we can often have breakthroughs in the way that we think and feel about ourselves and even breakthroughs, of course, in our spiritual connection, having that connection be more dynamic and evidential in some way for you. In 2023, my friend, you are going to have a breakthrough. And I love that for you. Congratulations. We all need breakthroughs. We all need breakthroughs. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations and we can get as intentional to manifest different outcomes as possible. But sometimes it's just like it is our karma. It is our soul blueprint to be in that situation to learn. But at some point, it is time for a breakthrough. And for you, this is it. This is for you. All right. Moving on now to card number two. How many of you selected card number two? Well, if you did, you selected Morning Star. Morning Star. This card for me is the card of, first of all, hope and optimism. Like a new day is dawning, new energy. But also this is a card of guidance, orientation, orienting and aligning yourself in a new way to get you where you are in fact destined to go. I also see this card and it reminds me that we can trust source. We can trust creator. We can trust God. Each and every one of us can cultivate the ability to hear and connect with the information and the knowledge and the resources of God. And we can trust it. That's our morning star. That's our homing beacon. That's our orientation. And you have this natural orientation within you and you can trust it. In fact, Learn to listen to it and learn to act on it. But know that in 2023, it's actually going to be more evidential. You're going to feel yourself guided. And I feel like this could be literally spiritually, meaning guided by angels, guided by spirit guides, guided by ancestors, guided by mentors and teachers and people who come into the life to magnetically draw you in the way that you should go. You're going to have the guidance that you need. And along with this comes the hopefulness that, ah, yes, I'm on my path. I'm following the North Star. I'm going to get to my destination. I'm on the path now. So that's a certain kind of peace, right, that comes along with that and assurance and knowing that you're not alone. How beautiful is it to know that 
you're not in this life alone, that you have infinite spiritual resources, and that you're going to get where you came here in this life to go. Morning Star is card number two for 2023. All right, the final card for all of you threes out there. You know, the number three is such a great number. It's the number of God. Don't worry, I'm going to get to the card. And, you know, God shows up in so many different ways in our lives. I really feel like we should begin to notice just how God shows up because God shows up in the laughter of a baby. God shows up in a gorgeous meal that you have with your friend. God shows up in nature. God shows up in so many different ways. And one of the ways that God often shows up in our lives is through the function of soulmates. You threes out there, you selected the soulmate card, which is exciting because, of course, when you think of soulmate, you immediately kind of think of romantic connections. And some of you for 2023, that is exactly what is on deck for your experience. You're going to be attracting in the one, if you will, or that person who is your person forever or for a period of time. It's all good. It does feel good. But I do want to say, until such time as the one comes into your experience, I hope you're having fun. I hope you're following your highest excitement. I hope you're working on yourself and your own connection and development because doing that quickens the one coming into the life. But that is on deck for some of you. However, for many others who selected card number three, I want you to expect people, companionship, new friendships, resources in the form of people, mentors, teachers, leaders, guides, also people who are just walking the path with you. These are people that you fellowship with that really inform your experience in life. We all need people. We all came into this world to give love and to receive love. And one of the main ways we receive love is through other people. And so for 2023, if you select card number three, you've got at least one person, but maybe more coming into the experience to walk that path with you and to enrich and edify your life. Soulmate. Again, we've got breakthrough. Look for it. It's coming. Can you feel the energy of it? I can. Card number two. Orient yourself to the morning star. You are being guided. You are on your destined path. And card number three, soulmate. People are coming into the experience that are going to make your life better. Can I get an amen? All right, everybody. I hope uh, you enjoyed that three-card oracle card reading. I hope you also know that I love you so much. Do you know that I've been on YouTube, I want to say like a decade? I've been on YouTube for quite some time. And I think it's because of YouTube that I have met in person and online in the astral, if you will, the social media astral. I have met some of the best people that I have ever had the pleasure and the honor to know. It's through YouTube. Like that's how I've connected with so many people. And it's through my viewers and my friends on YouTube that I feel the most grateful for what it is that I do and feel called to do. It's you, you guys. You guys are the reward. You guys you guys are the ones that make me feel like I'm doing it for a reason. And even though on YouTube, I always say this. I don't mean to complain. It's okay. <laughs> even though on YouTube, like my viewership is throttled, it's, it's shifting and changing. I still, I, I'm not going to stop coming here because the quality of people that watch and connect with me and comment is so high. And I really do have deep, deep affection and love for you. So I hope you know that. In fact, until next time, you better never forget that I have got nothing but love for you. Happy New Year's, everybody. May 2023, despite all appearances, may 2023 be the best year yet. It can be, it will be, and so it is. 